everybody welcome back to my channel it's mama brooke on my weight loss journey vlog every sunday we'll be posting please like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss a, a week on this diet plan that i'm on i'm trying to lose 25 pounds um eating off a saucer and just eating really 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 healthy so this week i stuck to my meal prep i think that helps big time having things already prepped up i did um uh, the egg and the tuna one, uh, as like I did the first week and had that prepped up. I stuck pretty much to the breakfast being the same. That was the goat yogurt, um, the berries and the chia, I mean chai, chi -chi -chi chia uh, seeds and um, a drizzle of maple syrup, a teaspoon of maple syrup. Or I did it with the oatmeal. So it was either the goat yogurt or the oatmeal. I just switched them back and forth. And I did one day as a shake too, just because I felt like it. Um, which was last Sunday that I did that. Uh, I just didn't feel like eating out of a bowl. I have a struggle with breakfast, I really do, and it's been a bit of a struggle trying to eat that breakfast. Now, my coffee intake has been really good. I'm trying to stick it to two cups a day, which I've always been a big coffee drinker, drinking tons of water, though. And I did a few prep meals. I did some little egg bites. I did a chicken barbecue one night. And then I ate salmon and I had a night out because I went to visit a friend. So, and I ate off a saucer, so it's all good. Still ate really, really healthy. And I weighed myself this morning and that'll be through the video. I'll post uh, those results. And I still, to this day, which is week two, can't believe that I'm posting my weight online. But I just thought I gotta be true to myself, true to everybody who's watching me. And it's the only way it's gonna work. I announced that I wanna lose 25 pounds so it's keeping me accountable and that's a good thing right so i am going to try to get some thrifting in this week and uh hopefully you can find a project i am going to do a road trip on that if you guys want to follow me on that as well and every sunday like i said this will be posted probably around 11 o'clock because i i'll try to add it most of it and then just add the way in and then me having a quick chat with you into it uh, yeah, my editing skills are so good. Mm -hmm. I know how to trim and all that stuff, right? It is horrible, horrible, horrible. My audio is a problem, but I'm fixing every day. I get a little better and a little better on everything that I'm doing. And uh, keeping the weight loss journey is keeping me in check on that part of my life. So let's have fun with this. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I'm going to go try to have one as well. I'm actually going to put a little sundress on and leave for a little bit and have a nice Sunday myself. I need some fresh fruits and vegetables for the week. I'm thinking of doing a cabbage, um, big cabbage meal one night. Yeah, I love cabbage, so I can eat that for dinner and I'll just add a bunch of stuff into it. But I'll, I'll vlog on that as well, so definitely, and I'll post it for next Sunday if I make that. We will see whatever I make, I'll post up each week, <laughs> okay? Um, enjoy, guys, have a good one. Thanks, like and subscribe. Mama Brooke in the house, trying to lose that 25 pounds. I know I need to probably lose a little more, but it's all good. Sexy times all the way here. Things are good. Ciao. Any time for my weight loss journey. So welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to do a really quick little meal prep here. Um, I have the stove on. I'm gonna make some little bites, egg bites for the week. I've been finding on my journey, it's best just to have things prepared. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using leftover whatever in the fridge. I'm gonna walk up to the market and get fresh fruits and vegetables for the week. So for right now, it's a little too early. Oh, well, they're probably setting up, but it's not open yet. So I'm just gonna sweat this little piece of onion off in the frying pan. And I'm gonna do a little the little eggs bites, but they're really really tiny ones. So I'm gonna sweat that off, and I have a few leftover mushrooms. I actually had a few more than this, but I don't need them, so I'm just gonna cut them up, add some flavor to my little bites. I should probably do them pretty small because I'm just looking at the the cups there; they're pretty tiny. But this would be great because they'll be grabbed for lunch. I can grab them with. Uh, maybe a little salad or something like that. If I have two egg little bites and something else. 
Now, I shouldn't be putting all the cheese in there, but my cheese is going to turn because I haven't been eating it the last week on the diet. So I thought, oh, I'll just sprinkle a little bit on each one. It won't, it won't hurt it. So I'm going to take that and throw my mushrooms in the frying pan. Just sweating them down a little bit. Did you guys get up early? I'm such an early bird. And I went to bed probably, oh, I don't know. I'd say it was 1.32 o'clock because I, um, sorry, I was going to do this. Because I, um watching this, this uh, series, The Manifest, and I'm really into it. So I've been watching it for the past two weeks. I'm on, I think, I'm in the first season. Uh, I believe I fell asleep around uh, uh, number 11, series 11. And uh, I might have to rewind a little bit of it, but I put the sleeper on the TV and I passed out. I have a TV in my room and not in my living room, which is probably not good, but that's where I go and chill and works for me. I've never had a TV in my living room, funny enough. Um, I think maybe once or twice in my whole life. I have a piece of tomato left over here and I really, not a huge tomato girl. Um, I like it a little bit, but I'm just going to put a slice in here. I don't want much of it. I got fresh cilantro. I'm going to throw in to, to these little bites. Put that in. Oh, I mean, I need to cut that up a little bit more. Just gonna saute my my uh, onions here so they don't burn. Yeah, you know, when you're not using a lot of butter and stuff, you really notice it. <laughs> I just did a little bit, half a teaspoon. I still need to go get some pan, but I haven't been by the grocery store because I've been going to the fresh markets and stuff. But I'll get there. I just put my finger uh, around this one and did the butter. So I'm just gonna use a small piece of tomato, not much at all. Like I said, I'm just rough cutting this because it's all going into a little bit of an egg cup anyways. So nothing major. I'll throw that all in there, break up some eggs, and then I'll just uh, put them all together. And a little piece of pepper. These are all leftovers from other dishes. I don't really waste much. I try to think, what can I use it in, right? So I try my best not to throw any food away. I don't buy like four peppers at a time either. I usually buy like one or two. Depends what I know what I'm making that week. I try to do a little bit of a meal plan in my mind. I'm just gonna stir the mushrooms. Up. Yeah, I don't need them cooked hot because I'm gonna cook them in the oven. But I do need them cooked a little bit. So there you go. That's that's easy as this is gonna be. Uh, I've been working really hard trying to get my channel up and get it running better and working really hard on this diet and I hope I can uh, lose some more weight. I lost this week for sure, which was nice, but the first week you always lose, right? So, so I'm going to move that aside and the tomato. I won't waste it. I'll throw it into something else. I'm going to make some cabbage this week, so I'll probably throw it into that. I'm going to break a few eggs up in here. So I'm trying to figure out how many eggs I'll need. I think I'll do like five probably for this. Maybe not even. Maybe I'll do four. And I'm just going to pack them full of vegetables, right? I mean, I know that's not a lot of vegetables, but it's still um, healthy. I'll add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. So I just got to rinse my hands. And I'm going to do a pinch of pepper. I'm a pepper girl, more than salt. And I'll do a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. And my mushrooms and onions are sweated off now. So I'm gonna add this into the pan, to the eggs. It's a little hot, I shouldn't probably be adding it yet. I'll let it cool down a little bit. And then I'll add the cheese. I hope I didn't put too much stuff in there. Looks good already. Mix all that together. I'm gonna add a handful of cheese. Make these really yummy. You gotta make you gotta make your food taste good, right? So there you go. I'm gonna add the mushrooms and onions in there. 
I didn't have much as you see. Mix it all together. And then I'm just gonna pour it on top, pour it into this. Definitely need to buy Pam. So I'll just do this. This is why I use this container so that I could pour it in. Makes it easier to do that. I'm gonna grab a fresh, a fresh dish cloth too so I can wipe the sides down a bit. These look really good. They smell good. Well, maybe it's the mushrooms. <laughs> there we go. So that's it. When they're done, I'll take a picture of it and I will show you guys how fabulous they are. I'll sprinkle a little bit of cheese on this. And that's extra calories, but you know, you gotta have flavor. If you don't have flavor, you'll end up cheating. So that's basically all I'm gonna do. Put that in the oven, 350, and I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Meal prep. No problem. So what it is is one can of tuna, um, of course in water solid, I just broke it up. I'm doing three eggs, um, salt and pepper. I'm doing uh, this with some cilantro and green onions. And then the tuna I'm doing with some green onions and um, dill. So I'm doing the meal prep because that way it's all ready and I don't have to fuss about it. I know what I'm gonna have for lunch. So this will last me four days. So I'll do one day egg, one day um, tuna. I do a little pinch of pepper in each one okay like that and then the salt I just do a pinch in the eggs I don't bother with the tuna because I don't think you need it now I am gonna do a little bit of dill and I don't my my dill's not ready to be used so I'm not going to uh, I'll just sprinkle a little bit of dill on that and I'm not using mayonnaise or anything like that guys it's just what it is now these are the crackers that I'm using and they're from Ikea okay they're an Ikea cracker so that's what I'm using. They're 45 calories each and you get, you can have two rounds. So that's only 90 calories. I'm constantly drinking a cup of lemon water rather than coffee. And I make this twice a day, a jug of um, lemon and cucumber water. And I drink two of those a day. And that's what I have. I did have a coffee already this morning when I had my um, goat yogurt. The other day I said goat cheese. I had to laugh at myself, but it is what it is. I'm far from perfect, guys. So then I just mix that all together, and then I'll just put a lid on it and keep it in the refrigerator. And same goes for the eggs, guys. And this is three boiled eggs, so I'm really in the next two days. Um, I won't eat it back to back, but then the next two days, I'll be eating um, uh, one and a half eggs each for lunch. That's probably what I'll have. So I just break this up, smash it all up, mix the onion in. I think the onion's the game changer. Cilantro definitely helps. Just gives you some flavor, guys, because you're not adding the mayonnaise and that kind of stuff. You know, you don't realize the condiments that we put on our food, right? So I believe with the onions and the cilantro, this is going to be great on top of my uh, crackers, right? So this will be my lunch um, until Thursday. And that's all, that's all I do. So we'll continue with dinner later on. And I'll try to do some meal prep for that as well. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my journey. One lunch, I changed it up and had a teaspoon of peanut butter and honey. I'm going to make um, two chicken breasts here. One's going to be for, for, two, for two dinners, I should say. So I, I've already washed them. And I'm just going to kind of fillet them a little bit so they open up. Because I'm going to barbecue them tonight. They'll be lovely. So I got up this morning and I went for a big walk, came back in. And everyone's going to think all I do is wear this, this, uh, this dress I have on. But I do wear it when I cook and clean. Okay? So I cut up a little bit of ginger already and I'm going to cut up a little bit of garlic. So I'm just opening these up. They're still a little bit frozen because I did freeze them. I usually buy like four at a time and then I freeze them. So I'm opening up so they don't, they cook quicker on the barbecue. And then I just put a few little slats in them like that. Nothing major guys, just so that the, you know, everything marinates in. So I have um, a tablespoon of oil in here. I am gonna put all my herbs and spices in there. 
Right now, I'm going to take my lemon and squeeze it on top. I know I use a lot of citrus, but it's really good for cutting any germs or anything like that, right? So I do use a lot of citrus. So I just do that, flip them over, let them sit in the lemon juice. This cutting board is just for chicken. And then of course I bleach them. So that's all I do to that. Now, I cut up my ginger already, just a little piece that I had left. Um, I'm just trying to add as many flavors as I can get because I'm not eating barbecue sauce. And I did put a little too much oil in here. No, it's not, it's a, it's a tablespoon. Some of it will be left as reserve, I guess, but got to have some fats. And that's an olive oil. So I'm just going to throw that in there. Rough cut. I won't be eating that anyways. It'll burn on the barbecue. I got fresh thyme from the garden. And I'm just going to do this and break it up. And I got some fresh cilantro from the garden this morning. It rained all night, so I don't have to do any watering, which is nice. And because it's raining, I was wondering if anybody's going to be at the Value Village. I might go take a spin down there and see. Oh, because of lineups. I really want to get in there so I can find a nice piece to redo. Now, in that, I'm going to add a little bit of onion salt, or powder, I should say. I don't buy salt anything. I'm not a huge salt girl. I do salt vegetables. So I'm just going to throw some onion salt in there. I'm going to do a teaspoon, or a little, maybe a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. So basically what I'm doing is a marinade that's kind of like a barbecue. So there's that. That'll give me nice flavor. I'll do a little bit of curry too because I'm a curry girl. Love my curry. This is actually really, really good. I'm going to add a little drizzle of honey to this as well. So I'm going to do a big, big spoon of the curry or two. So say a half a teaspoon of the curry. And then I have this stuff called Montreal Steak Spice that I absolutely love. So I'll do about a half a teaspoon of that. And I'll just throw it in there as well. So that's my herbs that I'm doing in there. And now I'm gonna do a teaspoon of um, honey for my sweetness. And this is pure honey, 100% natural. You know the one you buy in the, the grocery store with the bee on it that looks like a bee? That's not pure honey, guys. That's a lot of unnatural syrups in there. Oh, don't wanna waste any of that. So this has been sitting on my board in the lemon juice. And now I'm just gonna put it in here and I'm gonna marinate this for the day. So I'll mix that all up, clean up my mess. Use your lemon to clean off your cutting board for sure. You can just scrub it down with that when you get it in the sink. And that's that. And I'll show you when it's all done. So it's just a quick marinade. It's gonna be lovely. I'll mix it up for you now. <laughs> I'm laughing because I never do. I do all this like it's so easy. Uh, not on camera. And on camera, it's a whole different ball game, right? But it's all good. So I'll get that all mixed up, cover it up, put it in the fridge for the day. This will be so yummy. And that's that, guys. I'll show you the results later. So that's just mixing it all in. I think I mixed it for myself and not you. I'm famous for that. I need a camera for sure. I'm doing this off a small little iPhone. So I'm gonna rinse my hands here because I'm gonna shut the phone down and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later and hope you all have a really, really nice Saturday. I did my weigh-in this morning. Yeah, up tomorrow. I barbecued um, chicken breast and I made fresh squash on the side. Yeah, my saucer diet. Looks good though. Can't wait to eat. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy and I'll say bon appetit. Had salmon and vegetables again for two nights. The curry um, cauliflower rice I made, made enough for three dinners. So I just put them into some Ziploc baggies and I'm gonna freeze them and pull them out when I need them when I don't feel like cooking. Easy peasy. Easy dinner night.
lost 2.8, so two and a half pounds. So down 7.2 in two weeks. Yay!